What's up, hobby friends? My name is Casey, and this is eBay Miniature Rescues. Today, we're going to talk about concept armies and turn this Sigmarine into stone. Using magic acorns. Maybe not. Where do you even get those? Acorns? They're magic. Anything you throw them at turns into stone. I've been racking my brain trying to think of ways to paint larger amounts of models on this channel. See, the thing is that each week, I only have a very specific amount of time to dedicate to painting models, and probably less than you think. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining at all. I get to do what I love, and there is time set aside to do that. But, and probably selfishly, I just want to paint more mini. So the question is, how do I create more time for myself in order to paint larger models, or more of them? I think I finally figured out the answer. Last week, I painted an Arcanaut Admiral for the Caradron Overlord's army. It was fun, it was pretty easy, and it didn't take very long. Regardless of whether or not you like that model, it sparked an idea in me. I'm going to try and paint an entire army in one sitting. Or at least, over the next couple of sessions I get in any given week. It's going to be a concept army. Not sure what a concept army is? Well, here's the gist. You paint all the models in the army to look like something. Rocks, lava, vertigree, ghosts, whatever. Not necessarily the way that they were intended to be painted. So last week was vertigree, with a few details filled in, and this week, I'm gonna paint some stone. Let's pull out this Stormcast Eternal Castigore. I like this model, he's got a cool pose. A lot like that Lady Sequidor I painted not too long ago. Right here, if you haven't seen it. I started to take off the mold lines, but immediately shifted gears toward covering up problem areas and texturing the model to look more like stone. Talk about a massive way to save time. And I hate mold lines, I hate taking them off, and I hate that they even exist. Using a grell in earth, I paint over all of the mold lines and into any of the gaps on the model. I also scatter it across the rest of the model so it looks a little bit more natural. Then using some Vallejo plastic putty, I stipple on more texture onto the rest of the model to bring it all together. This may be the ugliest ugly phase I've ever gone through on a model. No worries though, I've seen the end result, it's pretty glorious. After the texture is all dry, I prime the model using Stino Res Black. You can see quite a bit of the texture on the model at this point. It should take some dry brushing really well. Using some super solid $1 makeup brushes with very soft bristles, I'm going to begin dry brushing using Eschen Gray. This layer will almost completely cover the model. I want to try and hit everything except for the deepest recesses. That way we still have some shadows going on, but the overall look is pretty dark stone. Next up we have Dawnstone. This color is quite a bit brighter than Eschen Gray, so we need to be a little more careful not to overwhelm the color we already have down. With a lighter touch, I'm going to cover up as much of the raised detail as I can, without ruining the Eschen Gray underneath. 
Some of it will be covered up, which really isn't a problem, but we want to keep as much of our gradient as we can. With Administratum Gray, I'm going to lightly do a top-down dry brush to catch the most prominent edges. I also want to focus this on specific areas of interest like the face, shoulders, and his weapon. That way we bring the most attention to those areas. You can really see the texture paints picking up these colors. I'm really liking the way this is looking. With Agrax Earthshade and Athonian Camo Shade, I'm going to randomly wash areas of the model, going back and forth between these two colors. That way we get a really dirty rock look and a little bit of a natural green moss in there. Since I'm doing both at the same time, they get a chance to mix a little bit on the model and there aren't any harsh coffee staining lines going on. Coming back with Administratum Gray, I'm going to pick out some of the details and give a few highlights. That way there's a little bit more interest in a few different areas and it doesn't entirely look like he's just been dry brushed. One of the big things for stonecast models is to give them some magic. That way they seem a little more like a stone army come to life and it looks really cool. Using magic blue I'm going to brush in any area that I want to look super magical or ethereal. I'm looking for eyes and runes. That seems to make the most sense here. Before finishing the model off with one last step, I'm going to add some moss to the model in order to really sell that old stone statue look. This is what really did it for me right here. After these bits of moss go on, I'm feeling like stone cast is a pretty cool look. The last thing to do is brighten up those magic areas going back and forth from magic blue to Liquitex white ink. A little bit of blue and then come in really close with white. If the white goes a little too far, then bring it back with some blue. Only a little bit of back and forth and I'm going to call this guy done.
So here's the deal. I'm building an army. A full 2,000 point, halfway decent Sigmarine army. The idea is to utilize what I've learned from painting this guy and apply that to an entire army. So far, I've collected a ton of models, and starting to put together a list has been pretty fun. The plan is to do this in pretty much one session, and sooner than later. Once the rest of the models get shipped from eBay, this will be a very large rescue, and I cannot even tell you how excited I am to do it. And the best part, the best part, is I'm going to put the entire army back on eBay for the same price that I bought everything for. If you aren't subscribed yet, I highly recommend doing that now so you won't miss it. Until then, check out this finished stone cast eternal. Thank you for joining me on another miniature rescue. If you like something about this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Once again, I'm Casey, and I will see you in the next video.